How to change the Hyundai Santa Cruz cabin air filter. It's simple to do. Don't pay somebody to do this. Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive MT. Today, I'm going to show you how to change the cabin air filter inside the Hyundai Santa Cruz. Real quick, before we get to it, if you haven't before, go ahead and smash that subscribe button and click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. You know, it's funny, with the cabin air filters, until about six, seven, eight years ago, I never even knew they had them. And maybe they didn't before then. I discovered it when I was watching for a video looking for you know, self-maintenance, things that you could do, things that you didn't have to pay somebody else to do. And I came across that. Now, it's kind of hidden inside the truck. It's actually behind the glove box. So we're gonna hop in. I'll show you how to do it. It's very simple. And I for sure wouldn't pay somebody else to do this. First thing you have to do is go ahead and clean out your glove box. It's a good opportunity for a little spring cleaning, I guess, because you're gonna point this box down and obviously anything that's in it is gonna be laying down here when you're done. Secondly, you wanna go ahead and disconnect this arm over here. It just pulls off over this pin very simply. So just give it a pull. That's all there is to it. Push it kind of up out of the way, no big deal. Next up, you wanna drop the glove box. You're not taking it out. You're just gonna drop it down. To do that, you just push in on each side. It's just held in kind of by pressure and some nubs. Hopefully I have you guys oriented well so you can see. Just push the edges in right up near where the little nubs are like so and pull down that's all you have to do it's really just that simple that will expose this little cover behind over here on the right there is a little clasp that you push together you want to push together and then pull it out a little bit and then across because it's held in by a little arm over there on the side so squeeze it together pull it out pull towards you that's it and that's the little nub on the side and that's the little pressure clasp that you're squeezing in. Now, that exposes the air filter. You can see it right there. One thing to note, there is an arrow pointing down. It's important that when you reinstall or put the new one in, that that airflow arrow points down. It just makes the airflow the way it's supposed to be. Now, to get it out, just grab the lip of it, the corner of it, and pull it towards you. That's it. You can see I already have something in there. I don't know what that is. There might be a bug down there. Uh, it looks like a little piece of leaf or something already, and I haven't had this very long. So I'm just going to bang it on the ground a couple times, see if I can get whatever's in there out. There we go. That was a leaf. And then what was on top looked like it was some sort of uh, assembly material, maybe something from production. I don't know. There's a little bit of dirt in there. Very little. It's kind of hard to see. Um, that's it. Then you just want to slide your new one back in. And you can get these, obviously, at the dealership. You can get them online. There's numerous places uh, that you can actually buy them. So I would just look for the cheapest place you can get it. Why pay a fortune for something that's a throwaway like that? Now, to reassemble, take that arm that I showed you, stick it back in its little slot over there, and then push the cover back on, making sure that all this rough edge is facing you, not the smooth edge that is the other side. Then, to put the glove box back up, you want to go ahead and squeeze in on the sides, like so, until it fits back in like that. And then, you have the arm over here to put back on. And you may notice that it's pushed up a little bit. That's because it kind of slides up and down. That allows it to shut. Um, so just pull it down gently. It's not difficult. Put it back over the nub, the hole that's on this side, and then just push it back on like that. That's it. Should be able to shut it up and you're all done. That's it. It's just that simple. I would certainly not pay anybody to do that. I mean, they're probably going to charge you their hourly rate uh, with a half, eh, probably a quarter hour to a half an hour minimum. It could cost you as much as probably 40 or 50 bucks to have somebody do what I just showed you. Anyway, leave a comment. I'd be curious a couple things. One, were you aware that you even had a cabin air filter? And two, do you change them yourself? 
Or do you fork out the money, be honest, to have somebody else do it? I'd be curious to know. Also, once again, if you didn't in the beginning, go ahead and smash that subscribe button and click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. I do have two additional channels, Rob Motive, all about Toyota Tacomas, and Rob Motive JT, all about the Jeep Gladiator. Check them out, and if you're interested, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.